What's up, y'all? Y'all back and y'all cooking it up with Chef Breezy once again. Okay, so today what I thought I was going to make for y'all was bourbon chicken because I, I love bourbon chicken. Like, and then sometimes you go to Chinese restaurants and you be looking for that bourbon chicken, but they don't have bourbon chicken. Like, my favorite bourbon chicken place is in Tri County Mall. You know, that sound probably crazy, but I've been going there since I was 17. Like, I'm 26 now, about to be 27, that's 10 years, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm gonna just show y'all how I make my take on bourbon chicken and, and I'm gonna make some low main, some bad low main, you feel me though? And uh, my choice to drink today, don't judge me. It's a high gravity lager <laughs> called Earthquake, you feel me? So without further ado, I'm gonna just go ahead and show y'all what to do. You feel me? Let's go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on this chicken. Um, <clears throat> I bought some Amish chicken thighs, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I bought thighs because thighs are more moist. They got more fat content and they're just succulent. So I already chopped them up. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to waste no time, so I'm gonna just get to it. So I'm gonna uh, start by heating up this pan. The pan's already hot. You might hear it sizzle. Might not <laughs> let this heat up. It's probably hot enough. I'm not gonna season this because it's gonna be enough seasoning and sauce. Cause I'm saucy. You feel me? Alright, let's uh put them in there. When you hear that, you know you put it in at the right time. Get them in there. Let them do what they do. So I'm not good on giving times of uh, like that. So I'm gonna tell y'all, let the chicken when it's burn. You feel me when it when it's looking like it's cooking thoroughly on one side. Start flipping it over and then let it cook. But you know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta rush the cooking process right now because I'm gonna let it cook in the sauce. So it's getting a little crusty here, yeah, kind of like you want it. And if you like your uh, you can also add a little corn sauce on your chicken. You know what I'm saying? Just to make it a little crusty. But just how I'm doing mine. So. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out because I'm gonna let it finish in the um the sauce. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here. Let it rest for a little bit while I get other things prepared. I'm just gonna take this garlic right here and I minced up in this hot pan. It's probably gonna sizzle like a mother lover. No, it didn't. Garlic in this pan. Got some ginger. Grated ginger. I grated this ginger right here. Okay. I'm gonna get that a little stir, stir. Some of the stuff down at the bottom. Do what it's doing. You know what I'm saying? The next thing you need for this is some ketchup. Now I'm not good with measurements. I mean I don't good. I don't measure. Like sometimes when I do my things, I just do it. Just do it, do it. So you wanna put two tablespoons of ketchup. That's my two tablespoons right there, feel me? If you don't feel me, you can't feel me. You wanna add in your soy sauce. About a third, I love soy sauce. There you go. Then we gotta add in our brown sugar. I'm just eyeing all this brown sugar. You just want to heat this. You don't want it to like boil. Like you don't gotta do nothing crazy. Brown sugar up in that thing. Do that. Do that. Look at that brown sugar right there. A little stir, stir. That's not it, babies. That's not it. Just stir it. Try to incorporate all of this. Yeah, yeah, then, you know, this usually calls for cider vinegar, but all I have in my house is raw apple cider. So I'm gonna just put a dab of this because I don't want to overdo anything. Dab of it. The mother. All right, you feel me though? So we're gonna keep giving this a little stir. Now we're gonna have some red chili, red pepper flakes. 
I like my shit spicy, so maybe y'all will too. I'm gonna put a little apple juice in there. Maybe for a cup, maybe less than that. Put some apple juice in there. Let it uh hit it to a boil and let it reduce for real, for real. You wanna add some water in there too. Is that fresh rain water? Put some water in there. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. You wanna cut it. Go ahead and on, let that come to a boil. Then we'll turn it down, let it reduce. And that's the bourbon. Yep, that's the bourbon right there. As soon as that start reducing, we gonna put the uh chicken back in there, let it cook. I'm gonna uh, put the chicken back in the sauce and let it continue to cook. Let it boil, let it do what it do. I got my boiling hot water. I'm gonna salt the uh, salt the water, and then I got these egg noodles for my lo mein. So we're gonna salt the lo mein. The chicken's basically done over here. It's over here, stand warm, stand heated. It's basically done. We're gonna start the lo mein so I can get this process in the works. There goes that. Stir. So all of them ain't just stuck and you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna let these cook for about I say it, 10 minutes or until the tenderness that you prefer. Let those cook. We're gonna let those go. Just a recap. I got the chicken done. We already put it in the sauce. It's simmering in the sauce just to, you know, get those flavors in cork. Incorporated. We got the lo mein started. We're boiling the noodles. Now I'm about to just start cooking the lo mein. Show y'all the process until these noodles get done. Then we're gonna throw the noodles in. And it's gonna be crazy. You feel me? Let's do it. Let's get to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start preparing the lo mein. I got the onions, diced onions, cabbage that I grated, carrots that I grated, first goes. The onions, my hands are clean. First goes the onions. We're gonna let they, these onions cook a little first before we add the other ingredients because you know onions, you know, take some time, little baby. I'm gonna go ahead and add the shredded cabbage in there. <laughs> but like I said, I'm not gonna put any salt in this dish because the sweet sauce has a bunch of salt. You know what I'm saying? You don't wanna get nobody no dag on. <laughs> you feel me? We still got the egg noodles, which is for the little main back there boiling away and now we're just working on this here you know what I'm saying all right so you see you got this here we're gonna give it a little flick of the mother loving wrist we're gonna add the carrot and just know that I, I had already kind of um blend some broccoli over here we're gonna put that in too and put it in at the same time as the carrots because I like broccoli with a little texture on it you know this is my lo mein you might find other things with other lo mein but this is my lo mein but we got onions in here, we got shredded cabbage, we got shredded carrots, we got broccoli. And I'm about to just soy sauce, dabble it in. Dabble, dabble, dabble. You know what I'm saying? Let it cook. Give it a cooking agent. I'm a soy sauce lover. I need that in my life, babies. We got the noodle strain. I'm gonna just drop them on right on in here. Yeah, like that, baby. Yes, just like that. 
Yes! You know, I'm gonna fold the ingredients on in there. Fold them on in. Let everything get incorporated. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get to it. Ain't nobody playing with y'all. So I'm gonna let these cook, you know what I'm saying, a little bit more. I'm gonna add a little bit more soy sauce. I'm also going to add sriracha. Just some squirts. Yeah, that's gonna give it that flavor we need. Do it. It might need some more soy sauce, so I'm gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? Make sure all the ingredients are incorporated. So when you get a bite, you get all of it. You get the cabbage, you get the broccoli, you get all of it, little babies. Chill. You can put as much soy sauce as you like, but always remember, soy sauce has high sodium. So, you know, let this cook. Let it go for a little longer. I kind of want like a little char. I don't know, like a little flavor on char flavor on these noodles rather than just a little boil. Get some more soy sauce. I mean, a lot of people cook their little man differently. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm not from China. It's like, nah, but uh, yeah, they probably put some sesame seed oil, all that stuff, but I gotta work with what I got in here. You feel me? Like, I'm just gonna add more soy sauce. You need it as saucy as it can be. Even though you're gonna get some of the sauce from some of this, you still need it to be flavorful. Okay, so now everything's finally done. I mean, it's finally done. Yes. So here's your final product. You got your barbecue chicken, got your lo mein. We're gonna make it do what it do, baby. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Let's get to it. And as you know, you just cooked it up with Chef Breezy. I hope I'm ready to look easy. Subscribe, like, share. You know what I'm saying? Show love. Cause I show love. It's all good.